this is one wall valve three fourth inch threaded end and this is another wall valve one inch flange end both the valve is lever operated quarter turn now the valve is in closed condition i am opening the valve by quarter turning like this valve is open now but there is a reduction in cross section area inside the valve this there is notch so this valve is reduced bore type that means diameter of valve inside or diameter of bore on the ball is lesser than the inside diameter of connecting pipe that's why this valve is of reduced bore if we use this type of reduced bore ball valve then debris will be accumulated in this uh, reduced bore part and velocity will be more in this reduced bore part pressure drop will be more and debris will be accumulated in this reduced bore part and that debris when ball will be operated that means valve will be opened or closed that debris or iron particles will be in contact with the ball and will be rubbing with the ball so after few months or after few years this type of reduced bore ball valve may have leakage this is the flanged ball valve 1 inch 150 pound and uh, this selection protection cover is provided this side and this side now this valve is on now if i rotate the lever by 90 degree like this valve is closing now valve is closed for this valve this flange id or pipeline id and hole id on the ball is same that means this valve is full bore ball valve i am closing it and again i am opening it there is no obstruction this is full bore valve through this valve valve full bore valve liquid or fluid can pass smoothly nothing will accumulate inside and pressure drop will also be less for this full bore ball valve it is always better to use full bore type ball valve not reduce bore type ball valve